Copilot in SSMS is now in public preview. Learn everything you need to know about getting started and what's on the roadmap. This week on Data Exposed. Hi, I'm Anna Hoffman, and welcome to this episode of Data Exposed. Today, we're covering an exciting topic you've probably been hearing a lot about and wondering how it works, what it is, and how to get started, and that is Copilot in SSMS. And to talk about that today, I brought on no better person than Aaron Slotto. Aaron, thanks for coming back on the show. Anytime. It's always fun to chat with you. Absolutely. And today we're going to talk about Copilot SMS, like I was talking about. This was released relatively recently. It's in public preview. But I have to ask you, like, as we get right into it, what do people need in order to get started with it? They need an endpoint in Azure OpenAI. So we got a lot of feedback already, I have to say. We released uh, about, uh, what is it now, a week and a half ago or so. It's all just flying by. And there's been a lot of feedback about uh, how you access it in terms of uh, licensing. So we've started with an endpoint in Azure OpenAI. There's a lot of benefits that come with that. There was a lot of uh, things that contributed to that decision. But we know we know that folks want to use uh, their GitHub Copilot license. We've had some things, uh, some folks ask about M365. That's absolutely something that we're exploring. We're taking feedback about to understand who's interested in that. But to get started, you need the endpoint uh, and deployment within Azure OpenAI. Awesome. Got it. And then when it comes to what I need to do in SSMS, is it pretty easy to open it? Or, or how does it get the context? How does it work? Yep. So I've already set up everything within SSMS here. So you just click the Copilot button, and it will bring up the tool window. So the tool window would be just like the Object Explorer tool window that I have on the left. And you can pick it up and you can drag it and move it wherever you want. Uh, I tend to leave it not like that. I tend to leave it docked way over here. And if you do control in your mouse wheel, you can zoom in. So this is great, just like you can in the editor, how things zoom in. And you notice that when I've started right here, the context at this moment is what we call the general copilot. So it basically just says you're in copilot in SSMS. And this is perfect for generic questions, right? Where you don't have to know or, or you don't need Copilot to know anything specific about your database. So as an example, if I say, when will SQL 2025 be released, right? Because folks want to know, uh, it's going to give kind of a generic uh, response in that uh, it doesn't have that official release date at this time. Now, in terms of context, which you had mentioned, if I'm interested in working specifically with a database like Wide World Importers and I select new query, then when this window comes up, I get a message over in the right side, which says, hey, we've detected a new connection. And if you want to change your context to use that database, then all you do is type the at symbol. And you can see down here in the bottom, we get the query editor that I just opened as an option. And then we can switch the context to that database. So does that answer your question about what context? means and yeah, how we use that's that. that's awesome. That's super cool. Um, cool. And so what sorts of things might I do here and how does it integrate further with the query editor further than just context? Yeah. So you can continue to ask questions, right? Like if I wanted to know uh, what's the compat mode of this database, uh, I'm in the context of that database and that shows up in the response as well. And so it will just uh, notice that it includes here, right? When we are in the context of an editor and therefore a specific database, which in this case is Wide World Importers, that's noted as part of the response. And then I can ask general questions about it. But I can also ask for help writing to SQL. So NL to SQL, right? Or natural language to SQL. If I take a specific uh, question, which is give me the T-SQL that's going to get my orders for 2017 and give me the customer ID and everything like that. Again, it understands the database. It can run queries against the metadata to say, OK, what objects do we have in here that are named sales, et cetera? And it can pull that information. And then I can drop this into my query editor and go ahead and execute the query, which won't return any rows. But that's besides the point for this demo. All right, nice. That's super neat. OK, so it helped you generate the query. now. 
what if you want to make changes or what if, you know, you want to change your parameters or ask a follow up or what are our options there? Right. So it doesn't have complete awareness of what's happening in the editor. So let me just show you what you can do. So as an example, let's just say that I changed my group by uh, and I took this off. And when I try and run this, it's going to fail. I don't have the ability, um, which folks may be used to in, let's say, GitHub Copilot, of entering and doing dash dash and then asking something else. But what I can do is if I highlight the query and I right click, I have these options here, document, explain, fix, or refactor. So in this case, what I'm going to say is, OK, I want you to just fix that query for me. So if I right click and select fix, what happens over in the chat window is it takes that query, passes that over to Copilot saying, fix it, and then it's going to submit that to Copilot and get the response back. And it's taking that query, it's looking at the metadata, the objects within the database, and determining how it, what it needs to do uh, to make that query run. And it will tell you then what it identifies as the problem. So it says, oh, you don't have quantity in the group by, because I removed it, obviously. And then it returns the co corrected query to me. So when folks are asking questions uh, specific to what's in the editor, you either need to right click and use one of those code assistants or take the query and put that into the chat. That's just something that we're with the first implementation, how we are. But again, we're in preview. So things are definitely going to change. Awesome. Cool. I love it. I love to see the the fix and explain. I know that's landed well in other areas for copilots. Mm -hmm. um, Aaron, one question everyone's going to ask, and some people are maybe seeing this that we've been in preview a while, or maybe people are seeing this we've just entered preview, but what's on the roadmap for this? So great question. Uh, we were in private preview, so folks may have known about that or maybe not for about six months, and now we've just entered public preview as we're recording, but by the time folks see this, we'll be, we'll be into it. And this is when we're taking feedback. So the feedback site for SSMS, which is aka.ms slash SSMS dash feedback, that site is where you can also provide feedback for Copilot. We've already gotten some, like I mentioned, with the GitHub Copilot licensing. And this is truly the opportunity for folks to, to give their input, and we're going to iterate. So We'll have a couple updates through the summer, and then we'll be looking toward um, some bigger updates uh, as we get toward GA, um, hopefully. Um, I can't give a timeline on that, but but we, um, we want to make some improvements, and we want to integrate within the editor, and we're definitely exploring what we can do in terms of uh, GitHub Copilot and other licensing models. Awesome. Cool. OK, you heard it here first, or maybe first, uh, but you heard it here for sure. Um, Aaron, <laughs> as always, uh, a pleasure to have you on the show. Uh, learn something new. Uh, I'd love to see your examples of SMS and Copilot and how to get started. Uh, for our viewers, if you like this episode, go ahead and give it a like, leave us a comment, and let us know what you're using Copilot and SSMS for. Head over to the feedback site. We'll make sure we put that link in our description. Uh, we really want your feedback, and we need it so we can build a better Copilot for SSMS. Uh, with that being said, we hope to see you next time on Data Exposed.